So my buddy Luke just posted a video on YouTube showing people how to reduce stars using PixInsight. And one of his viewers asked whether or not you can do it in Photoshop. I'm actually using Affinity Photo, which is like a knockoff of um, Photoshop. But I'm going to show you uh, method one, just because it's easier math-wise. And uh, but to the answer the question, yes, you can do it. So as you can see right here, I've got a starless image. And the, uh, the image underneath is the one with stars. Again, this is just an image with high saturation, just so you can um, see it better on YouTube. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my RGB image. I'm going to hit Control C to and Control V to paste it. So I'll, this is making a duplicate, and I'm going to do the same thing for my starless image. Next, I'm going to highlight my first copy and hit Control I to invert this image. And I'm going to do the same thing for both starless images. Uh, next, I'm going to come to my first starless uh, image and I'm going to change the blend mode to divide, which should be down here, uh, divide, and the second one I am going to change it to multiply. I'm going to turn that off. So you can see just by taking the inverse of the RGB and dividing it by the inverse of the starless, you just have the stars. So now we need to reduce these stars. Now, in order for this to work, um, we're going to have to add a curve adjustment. And because this is the inverse, we're actually going to be doing an inverse stretch. So as you can see, the stars did get smaller. Now, in order for this to work is we got to make a copy of this. And we're going to take the first one and drop it within the first inverted RGB image and then take the second one and drop it into the first starless image. So as you can see, now we have reduced stars, but the image is inverted. Now, if we turn this one on, which is the other inverse starless that hasn't had any curve adjustments, turn that on. You see that we have an inverse image here. So all we're going to do is go down to this and then just create a, an inverted uh, layer on top. And as you can see, we have smaller stars. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight these and just place them in a group. Hopefully you can do that in Photoshop, but you can, you can in Infinity. Because I'm just going to, um, actually I should have, let me just drop this in here. Yeah. So before, after, before, after. So if you wanted to reduce the stars even more, um, you can come in here and let's just say we want to stretch that even more. Now, because we did that, I got to delete this and I'm just going to hit this curves, copy and paste and drop that back in there. If you try to do this just with one curve adjustment, it's, it's, you might be left with some artifacts, um, some, some like, uh, some like halos or something. You don't want to do that. You actually have to do the same stretch for the starless and the RGB to get this to work. So again, before, after before and after and it's a real natural look the stars look great if i zoom in here i mean yeah they look really really good so anyways that's how you do it in photoshop or affinity photo so uh yeah i hope that helps